Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be working on the hashtag hillside heart prompt um, hosted by Caroline on the hillside. I will leave her channel uh, link down below in the description box. Um, I'm so excited to start this project today, you guys. I have been looking so forward to it. So last week I spent some time prepping my book for it as well as all my hearts. If you want to see how I did that and what I all did to uh, to get ready for this a prompt, go ahead and check out that video. I will leave it down below in the description box as well. And that's where I decorated my book for it as well as I created all my hearts, all my, my 100 words for it. And so today we will draw, um, I think Caroline uh, she draws three hearts at a time that she uh, creates a page out of but because of the timing uh, that I started well it's March now already and I want to have this I would like to have this finished by fall or Christmas so I think I'm going to draw four hearts I think that's what I have decided so I have started decorating the inside here as well but have not finished and then I just did some here in the back. And all this was on last week's video, if you want to go check that out. So we are going to go ahead and start on a clean page here. And we are going to draw four hearts from here and hopefully uh, go ahead and uh, design whatever words are on there. Now it makes me a little bit nervous because I don't know what I'm going to be drawing and what I will have to all look for. So after I have drawn my four hearts, I might have to pause you a bit to go look for the items um, that I need to uh, make a page out of. So, and in, in my book, this is made out of um, wicker. <laughs> I thrifted this book. And uh, so it's a little bit stiff. So I'm going to have to put something, I think, at my corner here so that the book will stay open. For now, I'll just put my glue bottle there. And then we will go ahead and I have mixed these thoroughly up, these hearts, as you saw on my last week's video. So I am just going to go ahead and pick out four hearts. And I am already very curious what they are going to be. Let's go ahead and flip them over. So we have Joyful. And I have it written on here. Who uh, sent me the word? I can't quite see what I wrote here. I'm going to have to recheck that because I stamped over it. I decorated these hearts. Luckily, I still have my book where I had written everything down. So Joyful comes from Deanna Grooms. And then we've got the word purple uh, by Julie, Julie A. And then we have Travel. That's donated by my husband. Um, when I had started this heart prompt, then I said to my husband, my goodness, I hope I'm going to get enough words in for my 100 hearts that I'm looking for. And he says, well, I'll donate some because I know you very well. And is it okay if I donate some? So my husband donated some as well. Um, he gave me some words that suit me to a T. And then I have doily from Not Too Shabby Chic. So these are my words that I have to work with. This is going to be quite interesting. So I am planning on adding my hearts to my pages. Uh, just so that uh, for memory's sake that I know... Um, who donated it and why I made the page the way I did. So we got to look for something purple and uh, something with travel and doily and joyful. So I'm going to put you on a little bit of a pause while I look through some stuff and find some items. So far I have found a doily that I have uh, coffee dyed some time ago. I did find something purple. Now I need to look for travel and, okay, so I have doily and I have purple. I need to look for something with travel and joyful. Now, joyful to me is, um, it's a feeling. So I'm going to pick something that brings me joy. So I'm going to find something. And for travel, uh, when I went with my husband on the road the other day, um, I was uh, fussy cutting out of my 
uh, magazines and I did find something in here. I remember cutting something out. Um, I had done a lot of Easter items, but I do remember something with travel in here. And, oh yes, yeah, I remember now. Um, a little car with suitcases, that's travel, right? So I got travel. Yeah, and I think most of it that I cut out was more Easter related. And then I just um, will go ahead and, you know, I should maybe cut this out first. I did in one of my magazines, I found, um, and I'm going to be using Daphne's Diary cutouts for in this journal as well, um, just because I want to make this journal very special. And um, yes, I will be using thrifted magazines as well. But however, I have found some beautiful images in here as well that I would like to use in there. And I know uh, Daphne's Diary is copyright. You cannot copy it or sell it, but this journal will not be sold. This is my journal for my keeps that I'm very excited about to, to always have on my shelf. But when I was looking through some of these magazines here real quick, um, I look, first thing I noticed on the very first page here is uh, this lady on the bike with a basket full of flowers. Well, she looks very joyful to me, so I think I'm going to cut her out and use her. How have you all been? I hope you are all doing wonderful. I went with a short little trip with my husband on the road for his work. It was just a two day and one night, but it was so fun um, going with just you know, at home you're always busy. I'm always busy, I feel like, anyway, with something. I am always, um, I got something up every day, it seems. Uh, if it's not my work, then it is uh, uh, just things related to home. Um, I know every day I have a schedule for myself that I try to follow. So I usually have something up every single day of the week. And so it was really nice just to get away and and not have to think about anything. It was so fun. I was so glad I had gone with. And we went through some beautiful scenery. I never knew that uh, uh, Wisconsin had some mountains. And um, so a couple of hours we drove some absolutely beautiful scenery. So and I did record that trip. And that will be on my home channel this week. Uh, Thursday. So if you want to follow my home channel and see my trip with my husband, go ahead and follow that. I have the link to my home channel, always linked down below. So it was so fun to have that little getaway. Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to add my doily and make it all look really nice. I think the doily is gonna go underneath my my happy girl here. This is my joyful girl. I'm going to call her joyful. Okay, so. Do I want to put something else underneath here first? Maybe. Maybe I do. I think I might, because this is kind of a little bit on the vintage looking side, I think I'm going to add um, this paper in here. I was going to use this in the front for uh, decorating one of my pages, but I think I'm going to use it here. It has been so fun prepping for this uh, heart prompt, and I'm so thankful Caroline started it, and I am so happy to follow along, and I hope you're going to enjoy following along me as well with all the different heart prompts and all the different words. I'm so excited to use all of them. Now, I actually ended up getting over a 100 at the end, so um, there was a few double ones, but mostly not so and there it's a big variety of different words and so how that works is you you get people to donate a hundred words to you or maybe you can do however many words you want I don't even know I think Carolyn did a hundred words so I just kind of followed right along and did a hundred words as well and then with those words you go ahead and you um uh, make uh, collages out of them and it's so fun I'm super excited to be starting this. I couldn't wait. I was uh, telling my husband on the road already that I couldn't wait to get home uh, to get started on this project. So 
So I have lots of fun videos this week. Today's my heart prompt. And then on Thursday, I have a thrift haul for you. Uh, when I went thrifting, um, when I was host sitting in a different town, I went thrifting in that uh, thrift store. And that was so fun. So I have that for you on Thursday. And then Friday, I'm going to start my Ideals Easter magazine flip throughs. Can you believe it? It is Easter this month already. Like, how can that even be? I'm so excited to get um, Easter baskets ready for my grandkids. Can't wait. I've started collecting a few things for that already, but how fun is that? I love making Easter baskets ready or packages ready or anything uh, for gifting. I think it's so fun. There is my joyful. I am all, I might just, yeah, that's good. That's good. I like that. I like that so far. We've got our doily. Oh, so what I'm going to do, like I said, I want to kind of include my hearts on the page just so that I have a memory of who donated the word and um, what it is. So I think I'm going to put this right in there. And I'm hoping to do one video at least a week with a heart prompts because it's just so fun. I should maybe go like this just so I don't cover up the name. There, so doily was from Not Too Shabby Chic. And we've got Joyful here from Deanna Grooms. So we are going to make sure that we include this heart here somewhere as well. I could have it on there, but I was thinking of adding a butterfly here because butterflies and flowers they bring me joy. How about right there? That works. Yeah, I like that. It was so fun prepping these hearts too, making them look a little bit aged and vintage and stamping. And then oh, it was so fun doing that video. Or making these and creating a video for it. I, I thought the reason I uh, made a video out of prepping for the Hillside Heart Prompt is I thought that would give you all an idea of maybe to do that for yourself as well. And that video I did last week. I do want to look for a butterfly here yet and maybe add a few other things. But let's start here now. So we've got travel. Okay, and we've got purple. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? I might just go ahead and fussy cut this out. Okay, I wanted to have something that kind of matched with the other page just to make it kind of blend in. I think that would be fun to make it blend in so that they kind of, so that you can tell that I did these pages at the same time because I don't have um, enough purple and traveling to fill the page. So why not add a few other um, scrappy papers to fill that in? And blend it in. Oh, okay. Apparently I had two papers here. I'll save that one for something else. Okay, so 
for my travel one here, I was kind of thinking about drawing a road here. Now, <laughs> I've done it in the past before, but I'm not very good at it, but I'm going to give it a try. Now, this does not have to be perfect, so, <laughs> and it won't be perfect, for sure not, but I just wanted to make a little bit of marking for a road here. There, that should work. This is so fun working on this. It I love doing um, glue booking with no purpose as well, but this is just extra special. It's just extra fun. Okay, now where did my travel heart go? Oh, here. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to stick this in the front here just so I don't cover up the name. And I know this one. Okay. Yeah, my husband knows me so well, and um, so the words that he donated uh, obviously suits me to a T. And when I didn't have a hundred words yet, and he donated his words, I thought that was so special. I think that's really special, and I will forever hold that close to my heart. And he knows I love to travel, so. Okay, now we're going to work on purple. So, where did my purple cutout go? I tend to lose things. Do you guys do that as well? Ah, there you go. There's my purple cutout. I think I'm going to do something like that. But I do want to fill the page up a little bit more. So I'm going to flip through a couple of magazines and see what else I can find. I found this magazine cutting that has some purple on it. And it has some beautiful flowers on there and greenery, which I really, really like. So we will use part of this. Okay, yep, yeah, that will work out very nicely, actually. Yeah, I like that. How are you all doing today? Maybe I asked that already, but, um, you know, I hope you're having a good beginning of the week. Uh, for me, I like the beginning of the week because it's a really nice reset to uh, just start a fresh week again and uh, I know a lot of people don't care for Mondays I however love Mondays it's just a reset of my week and uh, I get excited over all the projects I want to do and um, I'm also working some night shifts this week as well so my week will be very busy this week but that's okay that is okay as long as uh, we have our health and uh we are doing okay, right? That's what matters the most is if we have our health. Okay, should I have done this a little bit lower? No, I think that is good. Okay, um, okay, I'm going to take and add my purple cutout here as well as my heart. I kind of like this on the black and white printout here. Oh, that's nice like that. It's it, uh, tucked a little bit behind there without me trying. Or do I want it above? Well, maybe above. Something like that. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks nice. So I am going to maybe do the heart first. Oh, 
our coat. There you go. Yeah, I like that. Beautiful. Very lovely. Now, I feel like I want to put something here yet, so I am going to get back to my magazines real quick and see what else I can find. Now, I was having a little bit of a tough time finding some more items that I wanted to add to this page. I find that <laughs> if I am creating under pressure, <clears throat> then I cannot uh, focus as well. So then it takes me a little bit longer. Um, I mean, you won't realize it because I paused you, but um, for myself to find the items and just to make a special page, it uh, it takes me a while now. When I create without filming, then uh, I tend to uh, maybe find things a little bit easier and maybe I'm a little bit more relaxed. And uh, But I do enjoy uh, filming this process. It's so fun doing this and showing this, sharing this with you guys. So I found a butterfly that has some purple on it. So I thought that would be a good idea to add this to the page. And I think I'm going to add it on this side. And then I found um, a stamp with a tree. And often when you travel, you have uh, trees on the side of the road, right? So I thought, why not add a stamp there? So I will go ahead and do that. I kind of wish that I would have done some tree stamping behind this as well. But... Um, Maybe I can lift this up a little bit to still stamp a part of the tree behind there. Oops, I ripped some, a small piece already. I might just mess this up more than what it's worth, but let's see here. I'm going to try anyway. I am going to try. There, yeah, that worked okay. That works. Okay, let's give this a go on this side. It has some rocks here as well. I thought that kind of looked adventurous. Okay, let's see here. I got it on there slightly crooked. Oh well, that's okay. That is okay. Well, I like the rock there actually. You know, sometimes when you're traveling, you do have bumpy areas on the road. I kind of like that actually. I'm going to try doing this here on this side as well. Oh yes, I like that. I'm going to go ahead and dip this a little bit more in the ink. And I'm going to do the stamp on this side as well. There. And then I am going to try and add just the rock part on this side to see if that will work. There you go. It's a bumpy road. What can I say? We took the wrong turn. <laughs> And we ended up on a bumpy road. I like that. And that does happen sometimes, trust me, especially with grain hoeing. We do sometimes end up on very bumpy roads. Can you tell that there are rocks? There you go. Hopefully I didn't ruin it. Sometimes, sometimes I think I'm doing too much and then I end up maybe 
ruining the page and I don't want to do that. I do not want to ruin the page. That would not be cool. I'm going to add my purple butterfly. And I'm going to overlap it so it comes part way onto the doily. I think that looks nice. There you go. My joyful is very joyful. She is biking away with a basket full of flowers and there's a butterfly following her. And I've got the travel. Oh, I found another uh, purple flower cutout. I want to add that in here as well. Just because I think it's very pretty. And then I found a cutout of another small butterfly. We will add, add it here somewhere as well. I think it's very pretty. Okay, so, <clears throat> you guys, I did a few things offline because my husband was standing here beside me talking to me. <laughs> so, but my page is done. I hope you enjoyed coming along. Nope, it's not done. I see something here. I need to do this. There you go. That's what I wanted to do. I've got the doily over here, and I've got my joyful lady right here. And then the butterfly contains some purple. I put some vintage uh, paper in the background, and then I did my traveling car. And uh, traveling on a very bumpy road here. I'm not too happy with the stamping I did in here, you guys. Um, you know, don't even think about it. Don't think about it. That happens, you know. It, I'm sure it happens to you guys too sometimes where you are done something and you're like, ah, I don't quite like that. I wish I wouldn't have done that. Okay, that's how I feel about the tree stamping here. But I did. It's done. It's not too bad. You're going down a bumpy road. There's some trees. I did put a bird there. And then I did my purple flowers here with the purple heart or with a heart that says purple. Added a butterfly there yet, and then I think that completes my pages, my four heart prompts. I hope you enjoyed coming along. I really enjoyed creating this page. So if you want to follow on the hillside heart prompt, just go ahead over to Caroline's um, YouTube channel. Follow maybe her as well. Like I said, I'll leave her link down below. Um, she is the one that created this, and... Uh, it's been so fun, so fun. And I will leave the video down below um, where I created this journal and got all my hearts and everything ready. I thought that was such a fun video as well. And uh, this just speaks spring to me. I think it's so pretty. And um, yeah, hope you all have a beautiful day and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.